we are at Nora Head Lighthouse. We've got a little bit of uh, tide coming in, <laughs> so some interesting waves. I wouldn't actually shoot on a day like this. The sky is too bland, and for me it's about waiting for the right light. We're doing a stitch on my camera. This is a G9, and it's got an L bracket on it, which makes it easier to put it on stitching heads. This is what they call a multi-row uh, stitching head, and this is also on a Surui tripod. So basically all you do is level up your shot. You shoot on manual, shooting on raw. I've put on here also an eight stop neutral density filter because you're going to have to slow everything down because of the movement of the water. If you've got any chance to stitch this, you really need to do that to slow the water down. So when you're stitching from left to right, because that's the way they'll appear in your viewer. And so basically click and then you go click, 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 and then you've got enough shots to stitch. One of the good things about this Sunway stitching head, it's a multi-row and it actually has clicks in it so that you can set degrees. Comes in useful when you've got difficult stitching so that you know exactly what degrees you can put into the, the stitching program. Now I, I use my phase one and I stitch with that as well. So you get enormous files with that. But then if I need to, I can also use my G9 and get amazing results also with that by stitching. But just with any of these 35 mil cameras or the micro four thirds, you're never going to be able to get a big enough single frame to crop to a three to one ratio to get a big panorama. So really stitching something you can really, you really need to learn so that you can get much more sense of space.